What's good world? It's Nick Wright. So we are back in the gym after Christmas and New Year's vacation. It feels amazing to be back in the gym. I'm back on my lifting grind and eating big grind. No more moderate gains. I don't plan on getting soft and fat, but I'm going to be balking for real now. Just putting down a lot of calories and really reevaluating my training. Doing more of a 10 rep range instead of the power lifting 4 to 6 rep range I've been doing to really build on that muscle. I might even back away from the YouTube screen a little bit more just to focus on my physique only for a little while anyway. But anyway, it feels good. This is my first day back in the gym, back in Virginia, in Wolfgang's gym, the hardest gym in all of Virginia. One of the hardest gyms on the East Coast. It's an amazing gym. It's kicking off shoulders. And we're beginning with seated military press. Not one that I come and do. I usually do standing barbell or just dumbbell pressing, but today I felt like doing the seated barbell press. It's great for your front delts particularly, but if you extend your arms all the way up, it actually activates all three heads of the delt beautifully. And it's a great strength builder as well. I was only going down to about my chin or so on these lifts just to kind of preserve my shoulders. You guys can see in other videos, I do go all the way down once I'm back into the rhythm of working out. But you know, first week back into it. So, for me, my weak part is my rear delts, and they are the key to symmetry. So, I do them first out of all my posterior delts instead of my side delts. And I actually do them with plates, 10 pound plates, squeezing at the top. I keep my pinkies tilted towards the ceiling, and I drive them with my elbows out, pointing towards the wall. Try to touch the wall in front of you with your elbows. It's going to make sure your arms stay flared out in front of you, and they don't dip back behind you and turn into a row. This will kill your rear delts, the backs of your shoulder. Finally, I finish it off with about four to five sets. I think I did four sets of standing lateral raises. Two sets was done with the 10 pound plates. The other two were done with 25 pound plates. Um, again, an exercise where you want to keep your pinky tilted towards the ceiling and you want to drive up with your elbows. Your elbows should be higher than your hand, almost like you're trying to touch the ceiling with your elbows. And I do a slight row contraction backwards at the top of the rep to really squeeze the side and a little bit of that rear delt, get full activation. Again, here's the set with the 25 pounders. I did, I believe I did five sets of the rear delts and I think I did four sets of the side delts. And I like using the plates better because you can kind of, they move with your wrists much better. You can pivot your wrists, really activate your shoulders a little bit better than I feel you can get with dumbbells. Dumbbells are kind of wobbly, the weight kind of tilts back and forth because the weight's obviously dispersed on either end of the handle. And I finished shoulders up with shrugs. Today, being the first day back, we only did one shrug exercise and that was four sets of dumbbell shrugs using, I believe we did the 120 pound dumbbells. Shout out to my boy Ben Ayler for being my workout partner first day back in the gym.